If someone were to ask you what was the first Geometry Dash level ever uploaded, what would you say? Many people would be inclined to think of levels such as Spike Spike or First Level by Storm and they wouldn't be entirely wrong with the latter. It is the oldest surviving level still on the servers after all. However, with an ID of 128, it begs the question, what happened to the previous levels? Did they even exist? It is time to take a time machine and go back to 2013. So what can we do to find anything? The first way to find evidence of all devils that comes to mind is looking through old YouTube videos. Sadly, if you try to do that here, you will just fall on flat ground. The truth is that during these times the Geometrash YouTube scene was practically non-existent. And while the first video showing evidence of fusion made levels was posted just two weeks after the game came out, it took almost another two months for people to get the idea to start showcasing their levels on YouTube. It is likely that every play would have had more footage at the time, due to it being directly integrated into the game. But that service doesn't exist anymore, and most of the videos are just gone. But that's not really an issue for us, because we have something even better. Hey guys, a few days ago I found a GD save from 2013, which contains some user levels from that era. Many of those are now deleted. What you've just heard is the content of a relatively unnoticed Geometrish forums post, posted by the player Nextory on the 30th of July 2021. Now Nextory may not be an old school player in the traditional sense, however that didn't stop him from making a groundbreaking discovery by finding a save file posted on the Russian forum for PDA by the player Jacketus on the 9th of September 2013, less than a month after the release of the game. And the things found in this backup might shock you because not only do we have such games as Level 1 by Banan and Front Flip Master by, well, Master, but most importantly it contains the first level ever publicly uploaded to Geometry Dash. Let me introduce to you the level with an ID of 120, Jump Frenzy by Zen, also known as Rob Rob by the way. The question remains, why has nobody heard of this level until then? What happened to it? And the truth is, we will probably never get an exact answer. The level has never even been officially acknowledged by Rocktop. However, we can make a few educated assumptions based on a few factors. On February 3rd to 2014, a few days after the release of version 1.5, the player Mask463 asked a question in the Geometry Dash forum thread on Touch Arcade, asking which online level was quote unquote level ID 1. According to the game developer, the answer at this time was already first level by Storm, which remains the oldest existing level to this day. There is proof of Jump Frenzy's existence surviving on the servers to this day though. On the 10th of September, just a day after this backup was published, the 1.1 update was released. This update, apart from a new level and the mirror portals, has added a feature that would be very important here. Level comments. How can this be useful? Unlike many other places, the Geometry servers leave comments viewable even after a level is deleted. And even though there was a method to comment on non-existent levels, I have no reason to believe that it was well known during the early days of the game. Jump Frenzy has 4 comments available. However, two of these can be discarded as they were posted way after the level was already deleted. The other two can be used to roughly estimate the last point at which the level was playable though. What you may see here might not look very useful at first. While the game does display a timestamp next to each comment, 8 years ago covers a very wide time range, especially when we are talking about such early times of the game. But what you might not have known is that apart from this, the server also sends a unique comment ID of each comment that is shown on screen. And just like level IDs, these are sequential, meaning that if the comment ID is 55, it was very likely the 55th comment ever posted on GD. 
With this knowledge I have gathered a list of the oldest command IDs posted on every level up to 20,000 and come to the conclusion that the newest level that could be proven to exist at the time the Jump Frenzy comments were posted was 9731. Which we can date to just before Geometrash version 1.2 was released. Which happened on the 14th of October 2013. Almost exactly two months after the game's initial release. And discovers the story of level 120. The oldest level known to be uploaded to Geometry Dash. But wait! What if I told you that we have evidence of even older levels? Levels so old that they wouldn't have even been Geometry Dash levels. Because they were made for the game. Geometry Jump. This is the Geometry Dash beta server. Found in October of 2016 by the Italian hacker Coseido IH, it houses levels uploaded in June 2013, with there being evidence that the server was online as early as on the 6th of April 2013. This server is offline now due to changes made to the infrastructure back in 2021. However, a backup has been made, and as a result, all of the data is still available to this day. This server contains 5 levels made by 2 different players. Ranging from IDs 91 to 95 respectively, these are Level 1, Level 91, Dragon's Fate and Dragon's Touch by Zen, and Chipei by Player. The 4 levels associated with Proptop's main account may not be all that interesting to you, as they are beta versions of a level we all know today. Jumper. Chipei, however, is a level that would have been lost forever had it not been for this discovery. Uploaded on the 23rd of June 2013 and bearing an ID of 95, this is what it looks like. Surely a masterpiece that I'm glad we got to preserve. The four jumper betas don't seem to bear any significant differences to the final level, apart from simply being incomplete. Dragon's Fate, Dragon's Touch and level 91 are exact duplicates, and even though they all have a higher ID than the first beta, it actually seems to be an older version, as it cuts off right at the end of the first ship. Despite that, as far as I can tell, everything built up to that point matches up with the final version perfectly. The oldest level found on this server ends right before the last group part instead, and there seem to be some minor differences in the last ship. Nothing too noticeable though. So, what is the real first online level we have any sort of evidence for? It is a common misconception that the very first IDs were reserved for main levels, and that this is the real reason why level IDs don't start at 1. This is not entirely true though, because even though it is true that the game has some issues with overlapping normal IDs and online IDs, this didn't matter until update 1.3 when star ratings were added. Before that, the game was capable of separating those just fine, just like you can separate daily, gauntlet and normal online levels nowadays. I have already mentioned that the beta server has been up since the 6th of April 2013 at the very least. This is close to a month before the official announcement. As such, I am led to believe that the real first online level is actually a level we all have very likely seen a big part of. I am talking about the very first level the world ever got to see, LT8 Destruction. This level was shown off in the initial gameplay announcement video, uploaded at the end of April 2013. And while gameplay of the level itself is the only thing supposed to be shown in this video, it also shows another very important feature of the game, the early online level selection screen. It is very hard to see at first, as it only shows up for one frame and it is very dark, but if we boost the exposure and highlight, we can make out one important key detail in the lower part of the image. The number 3. And it is for this reason that I believe that Ultimate Destruction 
We say level ID of 3 is the oldest online level we currently know of. Thanks for watching.